My name is Tim Healy. I'm the managing editor of thetruthaboutcars.com. We're coming to you from Tucson, Arizona, where, where today we're driving the 2018 Jeep Wrangler, also known as the Jeep Wrangler JL. At launch, there will be two engines, a 2.0 liter four turbocharged four-cylinder and a 3.6 liter V6. The four-cylinder will be available only with an eight-speed automatic transmission in a, in a setup that's sort of like a mild hybrid, but not exactly, while the V6 will be available with either an eight-speed automatic transmission or an all-new six-speed manual. Jeep has promised a 3-liter diesel engine for some time in 2019. The 2018 Jeep Wrangler is much improved on road. In terms of noise, vibration, and harshness, it's much quieter, still a little bit on the loud side, but much quieter than, the pre than its predecessor. It also handles better on road than its predecessor. There is still some of the typical Jeep tippiness, but it's not nearly as pronounced as it was in the past. The interior is much more modern in terms of both design and feature content. And it brings the Jeep into the modern era, as opposed to the, the JK generation, which had an interior that was just derided for being way too outdated. This new model is much more comfortable around town. As far as off-road capability goes, we are about to hit the trail to find out. The six-speed manual transmission available with the V6 has a few changes this year. One of them being the reverse gear is moved to the up and left side in order to make it easier to rock back and forth while four-wheeling. The transmission no longer shakes while in gear as Jeep has cut down the noise, vibration, and harshness. It still offers fairly long but fairly satisfying throws and the clutch still has a relatively easy to use take a point. However, your, uh, your humble managing editor did stall it when we're backing out after and his first stint at the wheel. The Wrangler is still fairly loud even with the hard top and the windows up. Expect a fair amount of wind, tire, and road noise. However, it again is much more civilized than in the past. Off-road, the Wrangler amazed. While no OEM will willingly put any vehicle through a, a challenge that it cannot meet, Chrysler put us through a very difficult course near Tucson, Arizona that involved lots of rocks, lots of hill climbing, and lots of moving down hills very slowly. And in the Rubicon trim, which is the best off-road trim of the uh, 2018 Jeep Wrangler, the vehicle handled this trail with a plum. There was some skid plate smacking, but that's what skid plates are for. And generally speaking, the Rubicon was easy to work with, even for a relatively novice off-roader like myself. We did not use manual transmissions for the off-road for whatever reason, but we were able to use put the automatic into manual one and it would hold there to help us with getting the lowest gearing possible. If buying if you're an off-roader and you are eyeing the current Wrangler, be reassured that it's just as good, if not better, off the road than the previous generation. The interior is much better looking and much more functional than the past. It is much more modern. Every switch is laid out logically. Chrysler's Uconnect looks great. The gauges look great. For once, the, buying a Jeep does not mean sacrificing interior quality. Jeep has waterproofed the media center on the interior of the 2018 Wrangler and claims you can still wash out the interior as long as you're careful to not get the water too high where you could damage uh, sensitive instruments and that sort of thing. The, the vehicle now has a fold down windshield that folds down with relative ease for off-road use. The doors remain removable. There is a power soft top and, and there are other convenience features that make the Wrangler much more livable than the past. The one thing that has not changed is the hard top still requires a bit of an effort and, tool to, and tools to remove. Jeep folks made it sound to me like it takes maybe 15 or 20 minutes or less to remove the hard top. Most buyers will probably want the soft top version, which has removable side panels and is just much simpler to deal with, even though it may lead to more road and wind noise. And that's a wrap from Tucson, Arizona with the 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL. Check out ttac.com for the full story and please click subscribe if you like our videos. Works for me.